Hey guys, it's Jasmine and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Dove Amplified Textures line. This is their first natural hair product line and I'm so excited to try it out, so let's get started. Now, don't mind my face mask, but my hair is looking really crazy and really dirty, so this is a needed wash day. As you watch me rinse my hair to get ready for my shampoo, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also turn your notifications on and also follow me on social medias. They'll be posted on the screen right now. Now that we have rinsed our hair, we are going to be using the Hydrating Cleanse Shampoo for coils, curls, and waves. This shampoo is infused with aloe, which um, just is overall really great for the hair and really does moisturize the hair. And also, this shampoo is supposed to be a gentle cleanser, which I definitely agree with. Um, it did not feel very stripping at all. It almost felt like a co-wash. And this shampoo is supposed to leave your hair feeling very healthy and glowy and just in its natural state, not stripped at all. And um, as I was washing it, it did suzz up and fizz up like a regular cleanser would, but it did feel a little bit different. It didn't feel very harsh and just too intense like some cleansers can. So it, I definitely agree with the gentle cleansing properties that this shampoo has. And this is kind of off topic, but I love the smell of all of these products. They're, it's so different and really just amazing. So as I was wa rinsing out my hair, don't mind me talking to my mom, she just came into the bathroom, but anyway, um, it, it did not feel stripped at all. It felt kind of fluffy, and I wasn't used to that because most of the cleansers that I use, my hair feels so dry after it, but this one made my hair feeling fluffy and just ready for the next step, so I kind of really like that about it. Now on to conditioner. This is the Super Slip Detangling Conditioner for coils, curls, and waves. And this product is supposed to have a lot of slip and it also has coconut oil. And honestly, I don't really know how my hair reacts to coconut oil. Some people love it and then some other people do not like coconut oil at all. I feel like my hair is in the middle. Sometimes it loves the coconut oil and sometimes it does not today. My hair, it was not feeling the coconut oil because I felt like this product just stayed on top of my hair and really didn't moisturize my hair deeply and it just did not make my hair feel good. Anyway, when I was detangling my hair, I got this new brush and it is amazing. I used to have so much trouble with detangling my hair, but this brush makes it so much easier and it doesn't hurt my hair at all. But yeah, um, honest, I don't really think this product has a lot of slip either. Uh, you can see I was really pulling um, more than usual actually on my hair to detangle it. Even after I used like half the bottle, it, and my hair really didn't feel all that moisturized. Now on to this Moisture Spa Recovery Mask for coils and curls. This mask has honey in it, and my hair loves honey. It just soaks it right up. And so I love how this mask has honey in it. And it also is supposed to penetrate the hair shaft, which strengthens from within and reduces breakage. And from the first use of this product, I can definitely tell that it is definitely going deep into my hair shafts and really moisturizing from within. But I think I would have to use this product a couple more times to know if it is really reducing the amount of breakage that I see. I did leave this mask in when I was doing the rest of my shower routine and so this is what my hair is looking like for after um, maybe 5 minutes, 10 minutes at the most and it was feeling amazing. This is what I wanted the conditioner do, to do to my hair but it didn't so I'm happy that I used this mask and you can see I'm smiling, my hair just feels so good. 
Now onto leave-in conditioner. This is the Moisture Lock leave-in conditioner for coils, curls, and waves. This leave-in conditioner has jojoba oil in it, which is a dandruff remedy, and also um, has vitamin C, uh, B vitamins, E vitamins, copper and zinc, and it is supposed to strengthen the hair. Jojoba oil also can prevent hair loss. According to Dove, this product also helps protect the hair from styling damage. As you can see, I was really liking how my hair was turning out, so let's get on to styling it. This is how my hair is looking like right out the shower and a little bit dried. And so before I style my hair, I like to put a little bit of tea tree oil on my edges and the scalp of my hair. I use the Twist and Moisture Shaping Buttercream to start out my wash and go process. This product also has jojoba oil in it and also this product is supposed to provide a hold and definition to enhance your natural curl pattern. I did feel like this product moisturized my hair but I did not feel like it really was going to hold my curls like I needed it to. I do have a lot of hair and if it doesn't or hold every single curl, my hair is going to look crazy the next day. Keep on watching to see how my hair turns out on day two. For my gel, I use the Shine and Moisture Finishing Gel. This product is supposed to give my hair a light all day hold. It has aloe vera in it and has no alcohol and this product is supposed to reduce frizz and creates shiny hair. And from the start, I did feel like this did give my hair a good shine. But we have to wait and see until tomorrow if it really does reduce the frizz because that's when my frizz starts to really appear. This is what my hair is looking like after I apply the products to my entire head. I am going to be doing check-ins throughout the day to, tell, to see how it is lasting and I also will come back tomorrow and show you guys the final result. Alright, so this is the end of the day. This is how my hair is looking. It is like about... 70 75 percent dry and i did blow dry it a little bit make it stretch it in the places that i want it to be stretched i really don't know my final thoughts until my head is completely dry and to see how this holds for a couple days because that's really when um, i see the product works if it can hold my hair and keep the curls for a couple of days here's a close-up but I'll see you in the morning and give my final thoughts after I get ready for the day tomorrow. Alright, as you can see, it's the next day and my hair did not last. It did not work out. So I'm going to give my final thoughts on all of the products. Starting out with the shampoo. The shampoo left my hair feeling really moisturized, but at, at the end of the day, I don't really know if it really got everything out of my hair. I don't know if it cleansed my hair very well, but it was very hydrating. And maybe this would work more as like a co-wash because it didn't really cleanse my hair like I wanted it to be cleansed, if you know what I mean, but it did keep my hair moisturized. Um, I would use this product again, but I would use it more of like a co-wash type of thing, not my actual full wash day routine. Conditioner, um, I was kind of really disappointed with this conditioner. I thought I need a very like moisturizing, very thick conditioner and this really didn't do much. I had to use a lot of product and still my the, my hair did not feel like it was really deeply moisturized. It just felt like the product was sitting on top of my hair, not really going into the hair follicles. I don't think this works well with my hair type. Now on to the recovery mask. I love this mask. I would definitely use this again. Um, it left my hair feeling so moisturized. It was very thick. This is what I wanted my the conditioner to do, but it didn't do that. So, but this was really great. If I like added an oil to this mixture, oh, it would work wonders. I'm definitely going to use this again. And so yeah, I definitely recommend this one. Now for the leave-in conditioner. I think this is a pretty decent leave-in conditioner. I honestly, with leave-in conditioners, I um, don't really need it to do much. I just need it to like keep my hair a little bit moisturized until I put in all the other products that I will be putting in. So yeah, this did the job. It's nothing special, but it's nothing, but it's not like terrible too. It's, it's decent, I would say. Up next for... 
the um, styling process. So the shaping buttercream. Now I do not suggest using this for your co-washes. It will, well at least for my hair, it did not hold anything. It was not thick enough. But I would suggest using this for your twist outs, if you're just twisting your hair in general or if you're braiding it, any type of like protective style like that. I definitely recommend this product for it because I did braid my hair and twist my hair a couple times with this and it was amazing. My hair kept feeling nice and moisturized even like day five of my hair being in twists for my twist out and then even after I took out my twist for the twist out my hair was still feeling nice and juicy and crisp and nice so i love this product for that now this finishing gel now okay before i even talk about the product i love this little squirt thingy that they have on it i think it's so cute but um i like this product but i don't think it is good for a really gel thick gel that you want to hold your curls for a wash and go i think this it, um is very similar to the serum by suave um, i put it on the screen now but yeah, this does moisturize and shine your, your hair and make your curls that are already there pop, but it's not going to, you know, bring out more curls than your hair already is showing when it on its natural state. This doesn't have a lot of hold at all, I'm just being honest. But it, this does work really well with twist outs and just any type of braiding style. With that being said, that is why my hair did not work out because these two products, the styling products, are not, I don't think... That I don't think they work well with a wash and go situation, even though they do say that they are for twist outs and wash and goes. I think it's best if you leave it for twist outs, braid outs, all of that, because it did not work. As you can see, I'll put in a video of me where I I usually like take out take off my bonnet in the shower and let the steam get to my hair and let my hair go back to its nice and fluffy state, but um, as you can see in the video, it did not work like that. My hair stayed like a sponge, and it did not go back to its curls, it did not do anything, it was just looking a hot mess, so that's why my hair is in a bun, and I wet it, and I don't know what I'm going to do with my hair now, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this review of all the Dove what is this line? <laughs> the Dove Amplified Textures line. I honestly am very happy that Dove did come out with a line like this. I hope more top brands come out with uh, hair lines like this because this is what we all needed. Like a lot of people cannot afford a lot of natural hair products because they're way too expensive and I love how Dove created a line that is not that expensive at all and I encourage you guys to try out these products for yourself and leave in leave comments down below if you have and tell me what you think about the products. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a like and also subscribe to my channel for more. I post every single week. See you guys next time. Bye!